welcome to the Heal Your Life podcast, where we dive deep into the realms of personal growth. Join us for episodes as we explore the power within you to heal, thrive, and elevate your consciousness. Let's embark on this journey of self-discovery and transformation together. I'm Randy Marks, and today we are going to embark on a journey into the intriguing world of liminal space. It's a term you may not have heard of before, but by the end of this episode, you will not only understand it, but embrace it as a tool for personal growth and transformation. We have all experienced moments of uncertainty when we are neither here nor there, and it can be unsettling. So in this episode, I want to demystify liminal space for you and allow you to understand why it's important and equip you with practical strategies to navigate this often uncomfortable but transformative phase of life. So let's start by defining what liminal space is, which is the state of being in between. It's that moment of transition when one chapter of life ends and another is on the horizon. It's that uncertain, often uncomfortable space where we need to make decisions, take risks, and ultimately grow as individuals. Imagine it as the threshold between the known and the unknown. It is the gap between what is and what will happen next. It's like standing at the door of opportunity, but not quite stepping through. So today we're going to explore the depths of liminal space, understand why it can be both daunting and transformative, and discover how to navigate it effectively. So let's dive into this topic. You might wonder when you've been in liminal space. The truth is we move through countless physical liminal spaces throughout the day without even noticing. So think about those moments when you're in a hallway, heading from one office to another, or sitting in a waiting room. Those are all examples of physical liminal spaces. But it's the emotional liminal space that really gets our attention. This is where we feel the uneasiness, the anxiety, and the fear of the unknown. It's that place of not knowing, and it's perfectly normal to feel uncomfortable in such situations. Liminal space is that unique period in our lives when one part of our journey ends and the next is just about to begin. It's a time of transition, a bridge between the familiar past and the unknown future. It's in this space where we experience the most profound personal growth, both physically and emotionally. Remember, it's not just about physical locations. It's about mental and emotional states, too. It's about that feeling when you've left something behind, but you haven't quite arrived at your destination. So as I mentioned, we go through and experience physical liminal spaces daily. But it's the emotional liminal spaces that truly capture our attention, causing uneasiness and anxiety. This unease arises from the discomfort of not knowing, of being in a place where the outcome is uncertain. And it's perfectly natural to feel uneasy in these moments because let's face it, as humans, We thrive on stability, predictability, and control. Emotional liminal states often accompany major life transitions like moving, getting married, divorced, going through a breakup, experiencing pregnancy, then birth, or even facing the death of a loved one, switching careers, getting a new job. These periods are marked by a sense of profound change and uncertainty. And these liminal spaces scare us. And why do they scare us? The answer lies, like I said, in our natural desire for predictability and stability and certainty, 
Our brains are wired to avoid situations where we don't know the outcome. And when we find ourselves in liminal states, they often come with feelings of anxiety, heaviness, depression, panic attacks. However, here's the paradox of liminal space. While it can make us feel uncomfortable or out of sorts, it's also in these very moments that we have the greatest potential for personal growth. It's a place where we can shed our old skin and step into a more authentic version of ourselves. It's in these uncomfortable spaces where growth and transformation truly happen. By embracing this, the discomfort and recognizing it as a catalyst for change, we can tap into our creativity, into our strength, and the power to move forward. How can you effectively handle being in liminal space? I'm going to offer you some techniques and some strategies that will help you navigate this nebulous territory. And you can use this as life homework, but also spiritual homework. Number one, view liminal space as a why not opportunity rather than a what if challenge. Asking why not opens the door to positive outcomes, whereas what if can lead to anxiety due to the multitude of possibilities it just leads to lots of worry that's unnecessary. Number two, practice acceptance and being present. Do your best to accept where you are and don't fight it. Change is a natural part of life and the more we resist it, the more difficult it becomes. Number three, try and remember past experiences where you succeeded in challenging situations Reflect on your resilience and use those memories as a source of strength in the present moment. Number four, write things down. Your thoughts, both positive and negative, need a home. Writing them down makes them more manageable, helping you see the path you want to take next. If you find yourself overwhelmed in liminal space and unable to navigate it alone, seek help when needed. Speaking with a qualified therapist, a healer, or life coach can provide invaluable guidance. They can help you process your situation and equip you with tools to reframe this phase as a growth opportunity. And always remember that seeking help is a sign of strength, not weakness. It's a powerful step toward understanding the liminal space you're in and finding your path forward. As we wrap up today's exploration of liminal space, I want you to consider this. Are we living in a liminal time collectively? The answer is yes. We find ourselves in a moment between what used to be and what's yet to come. We are in the midst of a great metamorphosis, both individually and as a society, and living in a moment of profound transition between what was and what is to become. This moment offers transformative potential, not just for individuals, but for our communities and the world. It's a reminder that change, while uncomfortable, is how we grow, learn, and create a better future. What we once were was beautiful, but what we are becoming is transformative for ourselves and the world at large. Embracing this liminal time is an opportunity for growth and positive change, and this is our collective challenge and opportunity at this time. reached the end of today's episode on liminal space, and I hope you've gained a deeper understanding of this concept. Always remember that discomfort and uncertainty are not your enemies. They are catalysts for change. 
Embrace liminal space as an opportunity to become a better, more authentic version of yourself. And always remember too that it's okay to feel uncomfortable in the in-between moments. Embrace the discomfort for it's often the precursor to profound transformation. You can listen to the Heal Your Life podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and on my YouTube channel at Randy Marks. You can also follow me on Instagram at randymarks.healer and DM me with any topics you'd be interested in learning more about for future episodes. Thank you for joining me today. And until next time, keep embracing change and growing into your best self.